Why has marijuana not been approved medically? Because it's not medicine. It's been anecdotal evidence. Well, you know, I could take this glass and fill it with gin and drink some and say, hey, I feel good. I and mean, that's about what medical marijuana is. I was mm, unborn mm, 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 with um, cerebral um, um, palsy. After about the third hit is when I began to feel the tension um, dissipate. It really helps my speech. I feel much calmer, much less rushed. And I feel like I can control the muscles that I couldn't control before I smoked. It's kind of nice. I don't make as many funny faces. <laughs> Thank you.
many uh, individuals, uh, both parents and, uh, and others, who have lost their lives to drugs to, to give a ready answer that it should be legalized. I agree with you, sir, and there are lots of parents who've lost their lives to crack, cocaine, methamphetamines, and heroin, and they've somewhat gone in waves. Name me a couple of parents who've lost their, their, their lives to marijuana. Can't. Exactly, you can't, because that hadn't happened. That, and, that, and there hadn't been a wave, because that's been a constant thing in America since Harry Anslinger, t because African Americans used it and saw it as something that was crippling and, and, and gave it to the Latin Americans and put an ethnic tone to it.
First of all, let's contrast or compare and contrast marijuana with the other even more widely smoked substance in our society, tobacco. What is the evidence that marijuana smoking, habitual marijuana smoking, can lead to lung cancer? With respect to the development of lung cancer, uh, we uh, found no evidence of any increased risk of lung cancer uh, occurrence in association with marijuana smoking alone. marijuana smokers, if anything, had a reduced risk for developing lung cancer. THC actually has an anti-tumor effect. 